Yo. How are y'all doing? Well. You can do good or well as far as I'm concerned. But I can do bad all by myself, guys. <laughs> um, so I just, I wanted to figure out, like, um, you guys trying to like laugh or, or you want to, you want to cry or? Laugh. Okay. <laughs> Thank God. He's cry these days. He's no good. I know. It's sad. Um, so I'm on tour, which means I'm out of weed. <laughs> Somebody hook this Californian up, damn it. Hint. <laughs> All right. Now I'll get to the dick jokes, don't worry. Speaking of taking I grew up in Maryland, which is boring. It's a boring town. Like, I didn't grow up in, like, the wire Maryland. I wish, you know, I wish I was Idris Elba, but I, I wasn't. But I, I do, I want to name my dick Omar, though. Omar! Omar's coming! <laughs> my family is really stubborn, which is why I'm confused about how they keep asking me to cut my hair. Because every time I go home, they're like, you want, you want a haircut? You need $18 for a haircut? You want a haircut? And they know I'm too stubborn for that shit, man. Like, every time you tell me you want me to get a haircut, that's another inch of dreads. Every time. <laughs> I will have to stop eventually because um, I don't want to have to change my Deal when I shit. That seems too involved. I don't know. You gotta ask Billy how he, how he does it. You guys wanna hear some jokes? Yeah. Yes, like, like yesterday. Uh, Alright, I got a couple. Let's see. So my brother, my brother's great. I recently realized I should stop calling my brother a motherfucker. <laughs> I was in Denver a little while ago. I went to a recreational marijuana facility and then I left because it was too expensive. <laughs> but while I was there, they were bragging about all the weed. It's like, hey, you should try this. This is the Stephen Hawking. <laughs> It'll leave me paralyzed with good dreams. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, 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 fuck with this. This is Carl Sagan. It won the Cannabis Cup 2012. Like, that's cool, right? You know, like, oh great, the judges liked your weed. You won a, a cannabis competition. I'm pretty sure those judges were high. You can't, you can't judge from that. I'm, everyone knows, we all know, rape jokes aren't funny. So I don't tell rape jokes. I tell consent jokes. <laughs> yeah. We're not up to a good start, it's okay. So, you guys, I can't figure out, like, how do you get rid of a broom? I don't know. Baby, you remember those trash bags? They were so good, why did we throw those out? <laughs> hey guys, I came up with a slogan for the NRA. Live free or we'll kill you. <laughs> so I got some books and CDs. I wanted to read you guys something. Is that is that cool? Yeah. 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 Citizens of Sleep. That's one of my cities. That's silly. That's not what I was going to do. Alright. Too predictable. This poem is out of order. Alright. 
So this is a book I wrote. It was from a writing exercise. So the idea was, um, you guys ever read a book before? Yes. Yeah. That's cool. So like, I, I've read a couple, a couple novels. I'm not bragging. <laughs> And I read a novel and I noticed like what usually happens is like you have a character, right? And then they do stuff and then they do other things. And then they, they, they just keep doing shit and that just seems egocentric. <laughs> so I wanted to write a novel where I have a character and then after a while we just move on because fuck that guy, he's not that interesting. <laughs> so here we go, 19. Robertson had a plate full. This guy, McCoy, was acting cagey. What's he trying to pull? Somebody went in and failed to get my money? Is that really what happened? He claimed his associates had only removed items from the person of Martin Van Buren and not his suitcase. $1,000 to Freddy the Explet... Blah, blah, blah. This guy was an operator and a hot talker. He couldn't be trusted. Then, I guess I didn't pay him. This is coming out of lose money. What the hell? It was good information. A few grand for thirty thousand dollars. He was owed. Let the kid work it off. Greg was good for it. His new guy Elijah might have to employ him. Put him on a leash. The flying fuck was Veronica anyway. She hadn't been around. Now moves on to another section. Okay. All right. So I lived in Oakland for a while. Yeah. No, I know it was rough. <laughs> like they found a human head in the recycling plant by my house, which is messed up because that's compostable. <laughs> yes. I moved to Portland. Yeah. Yeah, I found out, I moved to Portland, I found out I had a six cents in my bank account. <laughs> my first show in Portland, nobody told me to break a leg, but I did anyway. Then the host of the show criticized my performance, insult to injury. I know. I was living on the, on the Central Coast in a while. I lived on a cattle ranch, tripped over bullshit. I found like my car was low on coolant. So then I found a container in my yard. It said coolant. I was like, cool. I went to pull it on my car. It was used motor oil. No. Not cooling, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody gets all upset about pedophilia, but I don't see what the big deal is. We don't like pedophilia jokes. It's cool. That's good, our kids are safe, that's beautiful. Give it a round of applause for not fucking your kids. That's beautiful. Yay! You have to clap for that in your basis. That's cool. All right. So, apparently there was a nine-year-old girl who was taking gun lessons, lessons on how to use guns. Her instructor was showing her how to use an Uzi, and then he died. I don't know what he was trying to teach her, but I really hope she learned it. Yeah. So, like, some people, some people are into this thing called incest. I don't get incest. I don't understand incest. Like, I just have a brother. That's that joke. That one's over. <laughs> there you go. Proper response. Very cool. Um, what else we got? There's so many directions we should go. I, I, I like to spit a verse. Can I spit a verse for you guys? I wrote a verse one time. It's like, Crowds I drew like Barry Moore, breaking barriers. Nigs thinking they scarier, barely were, buried worth. Imitating imagination, slew the scent you are. Journey to the center of a half a century. Tear the world, terror alert, they failing ya. Daily errors sharing the word, rare enough. Send them off, motherfuckers gripping their balls, then they cough. I taught them well, they forgot character, all the hell. Till I can't hardly care no more. No half measures, lounge in the bath, treasure rebound in our lap, never around in the cap, melted it down in the lap. Another round for the underground, left them a one and out. Money grows, plunder asunder, until they thunder sound, fuck them, chow. 
They dog me, kill any crowd within reason. If they prefer that nonsense, hunting is still in season. Skin and dreaming as I'm putting in work, consider it a million heathens as my children at first, tilling the earth like a trauma mining ore, the farmer. Making dioramas a drama, send them off and I banish them, I'm a goner. Or something like that, similar. A little different, but like that. I got another book. This was not fiction. I skipped the love part, fuck that part. All right. The year I broke my leg. Year of the bed bugs. Year we lost our house and our company was taken from us. Year I lost my friends. When our house was robbed by the people we took in. The year I tried to make a movie. What a fucking year it was. I dreamt about a train. It smelled like piss on other types of piss, kerosene and yoga, my mind numb like white powder against my lips and gums. Two girls discuss rabies, anal sex and shooting up. A man says, miss, I'm gonna have to ask you to move and it's gonna hurt. I get on and off the same train car and it somehow brings me backwards, constantly straining against my destiny. I write line after gorgeous line and wait to find that dream all that as well. The skies are gorgeous. Pinks trailed with blue clouds tossed in a mixture of girl names. 48 people she'd bring with her to a new town, leaving one more for a list. We grew to believe that dingy was romantic and anything awful could become bohemian after a certain spin. Fragments of forever, strung together with luck and determination. I have these memories. I'd like to leave behind. Objects I carried for years and abandoned to violence, pieces of falsehood that might string together into truth, writing out thoughts and concepts on a busted laptop, copying them over again and typing, transferred to a hard drive. Another laptop and the internet, printing them out, rewriting and copying it all down again, living on the edges of my own consciousness. Y'all like that? Should I read it one more time? Yeah. A cat purrs itself Around my legs, I dream of waking, finding space, another town, a different city. Smoke curls itself from out of nowhere into the scene to add a little color. Maybe there's a band. The facts can be far too real. And why do we leave if not to escape? Details lost with every waking moment of feeling that helped me find some sort of truth. Another dream. The Negro stands for something lost. Taunting the dragon, never satisfied. How many thousand picketers are marching, anarchists organized? We left the city of murderers and thieves. Wandered through a desert of human desolation. It is I, prodigal oracle, fallen spirit, the lovers and dreamers who lost. Civilization was a massacre, a temple to the betrayal of ourself. I went to sleep at like 6 a.m., you guys. <laughs> what could we have been if we had sought beyond? People of the street no longer mind. Late night becomes early morning. I've spent my life with books and among the literate. I figure one day they'll pay me for something regular. Sobriety is a cold pool, an empty cabinet. We perceive what we can. I wonder where the days have gone. That's enough of that. That's the door. Back to not telling pedophile jokes. So, you're like scared of what I'm gonna say. You're scared you're gonna like it. Shirley Temple died. Can we start putting alcohol in our drink now? <laughs> so my bucket list just says fuck it. Guys, I gotta learn how to be more succinct. Like I'm not quick enough. I I overspeak. Sometimes I'm verbose. I circumlocate is what I'm saying. No, I know. <laughs> Side note, understatement is the greatest, most incredible, wonderful form of literary technique on the planet. 